Hey guys, welcome to Ernest Cole Fishing. I am the Bass Man Ernest Cole. Today, I'm going to show you guys a new lure that I've heard a lot of buzz about and decided to try today, and I have just been absolutely killing them today. Uh, and it's this. This is the Steel Shad. I'm going to show you guys how to fish it, how to rig it, and uh, how it's been working for me today. So, uh, let's get to it. Hey guys, before we get into this, be sure to subscribe, throw me a like, comment below, tell me what you want to see, and hit that little bell so you'll know exactly when I upload a video. Hey right, guys, what is a steel shed? Well, in its basic, simplest form, it's a blade bait. Uh, there have been several blade baits on the market, Silver Buddies, uh, you know, basically it's kind of a sideways spoon if you've never fished a blade bait before. Um, this one is a really good bait. I've been hearing a lot of buzz about it here lately uh, up on the Tennessee River and at Pickwick, and I decided to pick me some up today, and they have just been absolutely killing it today. I'm, I'm not on Pickwick today, but uh, I'm at a little lake here, just a small lake in uh, somewhere in Mississippi, and uh, really been killing it today. And uh, let me guys take you through how I've been fishing this today as well as some different ways to fish this and uh, just kind of give you my review and how to and my honest opinion on this thing so let's get to it all right guys let me show you how i've got this rigged i've got this on a seven foot medium heavy uh outcast rod 7.5 to 1 gear ratio lose reel 12 pound outcast floor carbon all right guys there is a couple of different ways that i've been fishing the steel shad today that has brought me pretty good success today like I said I'm on, a, I'm on a tiny lake today it's just a few hundred acres a lot of fishing here today so I just decided to come out and just have a good time today uh, but anyway what I've been doing is essentially fishing it uh, a couple of different ways one way that's been uh, working probably the best is I'll fish it like a worm basically cast it out let it go all the way to the bottom and uh, like I said I'm, I'm fishing these um, it's a big creek that runs right down the middle of this lake so fish it out cast it out reel it in and basically like a worm uh, but a little bit faster than a worm uh, just let it go to the bottom and, and I'm just hopping it just a few hops and they've been hitting it on the fall uh, Just hopping along a few inches off the bottom, nothing crazy. You just got to find the cadence that works. Um, sometimes it's just, you know, a big long one, let it fall. Sometimes it's just a bunch of short ones. Seems like on one side of the lake they've been doing a little bit different. I'll take you back to earlier in the day where I caught a fish and I was just pumping the rod, reeling up slack, pumping it, reeling up slack. Just kind of like a worm, but uh, faster, you know. There we go. Nice one on the old steel shaft. Keep him for a picture. 
All right, guys. One of the ways I've been using this today is, you know, basically a blade bait. It's just a vibrating uh, blade with a little bit of lead on it. And essentially it feels like a, uh, like a lipless crankbait rattle trap. Uh, you know, you just throw it out. And uh, I'm fishing a creek bed. So what I've been doing is letting it fall all the way to the bottom. And I'm just straight reeling it in. A bit better one there. Nice little chunker. Maybe think of coal. Guys, another thing you can do with these uh, is you can bend these right along uh, where the riding starts. And you can make these things go left, go right, uh, do all kinds of really, really neat, uh, you know, cadences in the water. So that's another good technique you guys can use. All right, guys, that is my review, how-to, and, and just a little bit of me fishing. Uh, this steel shed that I've been trying today, uh, one modification that I did do, which I would recommend, is changing out the hooks. Um, stock hooks are pretty good. They're sticky, but, uh, you know, Nothing beats a good uh, Eagle Claw, Mustad, Trocar. So uh, what I did uh, on mine is this front hook, I changed it out. Uh, this is an Eagle Claw treble hook. And I changed it out to red. I wanted to give it just a little bit of color. Uh, this is just a solid chrome with the uh, yellow eye there. And I wanted to give it just a little bit of color and maybe uh, mimic wounded baitfish. And I did catch a couple on that. Um, so, very versatile bait. I can't say enough good things about it today. Uh, I've caught fish from uh, 20 feet to 2 feet today on this. Uh, come up on a little shallow point here. That last fish I caught, a uh, little bit of grass, a couple feet under the water. It, you know, probably about 4 to 6 feet. And I was just burning it across there and it just slapped it. So, uh, can't say enough good things about it. Very versatile bait. Uh, you know, you guys should check this out. Uh, I would invite you. I heard a lot about it before I tried it out. Uh, mainly on Pickwick where I fish from uh, Facebook groups and, and different things. And I heard that this was kind of a hot bait, so I decided to try it. Didn't fish Tennessee River today or at Pickwick. I came out here to a uh, undisclosed location and uh, just kind of wanted to have a little fun today. But I uh, decided to give this thing a try, and actually this is the only thing that I got on the bike today. So I uh, wanted to give you guys a, uh, kind of show you what I was doing with it, kind of give you my opinion, review, and all in all, I would give it two thumbs up, you know. So thank you guys for watching. Go check out Steel Shed. Uh, leave me a comment below, like, subscribe, the whole nine yards. Tell me what you guys want to see next. Uh, I know I've been a little bit... Uh, dark on uh, YouTube and what have you but uh, been doing a little fishing been working on stuff for next year and uh, hopefully some more reviews a lot more fishing and uh, but I'm gonna get out of here my graph just lit up I may not get out of here <laughs> so thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, tell me what you want to see next thank each and every one of you guys it's been a great year for me looking forward to another good one and we'll see you guys down the road.